hello everyone today i will tell you how to run the samples in bioanalyzer for that i will turn on the program here you can see program is opening it will take some time here is the like uh, screen for that now let's prepare the chip just ensure that the base plate is set to correct position let's suppose for this i need at c position and this syringe clip position is at correct position at uh, in the last knob guys base plate position and syringe clip position will vary according to your essay and just make sure that the plunger is at 1 ml this is the chip where i will load my sample and will do the essay if you see the back you can actually see the connections between each well so i try to show you that but it's not possible in the video so yeah you can just check it out on your own so i will just take them out and place the a uh, chip on the priming station yes guys before starting this experiment just take out all the reagents and keep them at the, the room temperature for at least 30 minutes this is the gel dye which i previously made here i want to give a small tip to you all since the gel dye is very viscous in nature so you can uh, reverse pipe it, it and always pipe it very slowly to take uh, the perfect amount of gel since it's quite viscous in nature and add that gel dye in a correct well now make sure that you your timer is set at 1 minute so do it beforehand now close the chip priming station once you will close it you will hear a click sound and now press down the plunger of the syringe until it is held by the clip and then start the timer for 1 minute and just wait for 1 minute in the meantime you can clean the probe for that you can use the uh, chip which is there in the kit and just add 3 Seventy or three fifty microliters of nucleus free water, and then put it in the bioanalyzer so that probe will be cleaned till the time you will prepare your sample. That's how I basically utilize my every minute. After one minute, release the plunger with the clip, and then wait for at least like thirty seconds or some time. In the meantime, we can. clean the probe here you can see that chip was not detected yet and then i will keep the uh, chip with glass free water and then we'll close the bioanalyzer you will see now bioanalyzer can detect the chip so it's now okay good to go now let's come back to the chip so it's now more than 30 seconds and you can see that the plunger has moved back at least 0.3 ml then now you can slowly pull the plunger back to 1 ml position now open the chip priming station then add or uh, pipe it 9 microliter of dye mix in each well which are marked with g and always remember to pipe it the gel dye very slowly since it's highly viscous in nature so it will basically reduce the error from your experiment and one more thing guys whenever you are pipetting make sure that you are not adding bubble to the well because it will basically uh, hamper your chip preparation so make sure that uh, you don't add bubbles in your well and if you by chance you add then just try to you know uh, break them 
is the DNA marker which now you will add in the wells uh, I'm not able to focus it clearly but yeah this is DNA marker so this pipette 5 microliter of DNA marker into each well uh, in all the sample wells and in the ladder well since DNA marker is not that viscous so you can directly pipette it no need to do the reverse pipetting and like I told you previously just avoid bubbles because it, it's gonna difficult for you later so try to pipe it nicely so that you can avoid bubbles and by chance if you add bubble then just break them from the pipe tip it's quite easy and this is ladder you can add one microliter of ladder in the well which is labeled as a ladder and one thing i forgot to tell you that before adding any reagent just vortex them little bit and then now add your sample to the wells i had only one sample which i will run in duplicate so i will just use two wells but you can add your sample in each well and in the unused well you can add one microliter of uh, marker and i forgot to tell you you can add only one microliter of sample in a particular well so just remember by mistake i have touched the my tip outside somewhere so i changed my tip Now set the timer to 1 minute and then uh, place the chip on the vortex mixture and turn on the vortex for 1 minute. After 1 minute just turn off the vortex and take out the chip and make sure there is no bubble just check once. Yeah, no bubble take out the chip with nucleus free water and add uh, your new chip with sample and close the lid now here you can see okay software is detecting the chip now use the assay go for high sensitivity if you are using high sensitivity then otherwise you can choose whatever you are using here you can basically write your sample name as well and then after you are done just start the software this is the reading for ladder and this is my sample the first week which you can see is basically the first ladder so yeah this is all about bioanalyzer make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the like button thank you for watching